three, two, one, da da! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so all the spar varnishes dry on these and the owls too, they can all go to their new owners. Um, today's gonna be a real simple project that uh, anybody can do. How you doing there, owl friend? Huh? How you doing? So anyways, I got these uh, pieces of driftwood yesterday from the beach. This is Douglas Furlog here. Um, Steven Kenzora, yeah, I said it right. Steven Kenz, blah, 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 blah. hey Steve. Anyway, Steven Kenzora, professional chainsaw carver, made a light out of like uh, little slices of wood from trees that he got cut down in his yard, him and his girlfriend or wife. But anyways, they, they want to use all the wood that they cut down the trees with, so they made a cool light. Steve said that he's not the originator of the light. Uh, I forget the guy's name that Steve said that did show a light like this. But anyways, it's a simple project. You guys don't need a chainsaw. You can use a friggin' skill saw. You can use a hand saw. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna slice these up. I'm gonna go for two and a half inches thick each one. And I'm gonna try and just, I don't know. Let's see how bad I can screw it up. Uh, this is my favorite time of the year. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's beautiful sunny out. Okay, so I got to mark two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. You guys, my big problem with chainsaw carving is making straight cuts. So these things are going to be all over the friggin' place. Two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. Got two and a half, two and a half. You guys, if you don't have a jaw horse for carving chainsaw, I'm telling you, you should probably really get one. So I'll set the camera on out here. And uh, we'll do a time lapse because I gotta. Then I gotta put this log up there, mark it out, and cut it too. Ooh. 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 Hear the birds? <laughs> So that was uh, like uh, six minutes to do that. So, but you can see here, I, yeah, I didn't cut them too straight. I don't care. Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to put this thing together. I still got all these here too. Okay, so I asked Steve a few questions about this light. He said he just nailed his uh, thing. I'm gonna put a picture of his right now. With the lights off, I'll put it right here with the lights off. And then one at night time with the lights on. So, okay, there's a picture. Anyways, so I figured I'm going to use a small, you see, there's smaller and there's bigger ones. Bigger ones on the bottom. I'm going to use the smaller ones first, and then we'll layer it up, and I'll use the biggest ones in the middle, I guess. I don't know. But Judy that lives here, because I'm making this light for her, she went and bought these four-inch screws for me. So I'll screw this together. I don't know. I'll just hop. This is where I'm going to fuck it up. You'll see. Okay, so I got five. We'll start off with the odd number. You can see none of them are flush, like this one's higher. I don't know. So then I'll start putting them on like this. And then, you know, like making them go out, making it like a, a round thing, right? I guess. Somebody's here. Hey, Bob. Oh, yeah. Hey, Scotty. I'm making the lamp right now. Hi, Jed. Hi, Jed. Hi. I couldn't. Hi. I couldn't remember your address. I know it's 29, but I didn't know the number, so he put my address in for the warranty. Okay. He said, but if you wanted to change it, just give him a call. And we'll Did you tell him that you pissed off about the sprocket not being there I for three weeks? Part, he said, no, I don't know when it's going to be in. Tell him the F rate off. No. Okay, well, I'll call him and tell him. Look at this. It's by two five one one. See how light that is. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Say hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Okay, so I'm now a professional uh, light builder. Okay, like yeah. So I do one thing one time, and I'm a professional with help, like uh, from Steve, friends like Steve. So yeah, here's the first couple layers. Um, you guys, you can use nails. I didn't want to use nails though because I'll tell you why. For like 10 years of my life, 12 years of my life, I sat on the roof banging down cedar shakes with a hammer and nails you know how many nails i've hammered down think look at all the shakes on a roof each shake has two nails do the math 
So anyways, yeah, these screws are working good. This this first, uh, it's still wet, so they're not cracking. And I'm just gonna keep on getting her to be round. It's gonna look like a friggin' mongoloid light. But anyways, I'm gonna set the camera up over there, face and hair time lapse. Hi friends okay so what do you think Steve you think uh, companies are gonna start calling me for interior decorator or exterior <laughs> I don't know I have no clue I, what the hell is that noise I don't know how to finish this top off so I got a special thing this is um I got this floodlight. Steve said he just used a floodlight. So I'll figure out a way to get this up in the bottom after. Um, you guys, your piece is going to be a lot more flush if you cut these pieces like the exact same size every time. Okay? No angle, just complete two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, or whatever size you want to do. I don't really care. This is just a garden piece, right? To put in their garden. It looks cool at night. So let's let's do a special touch up for this. Uh, we'll do a special thing for this for Judy and Scott. So yeah, here's my Ryan Cook two five one one. Hey there, Brian. The two five one one P. This thing's so light. Like this. Oh, yeah. So I don't have a carving bar for it yet because I don't have the proper sprocket. Freaking airplanes. I'm just going to carve something with this bar on it. This is 3 8 uh, You guys, look on your bars. It will tell you what the information is. Somewhere here. Yeah, you can barely see it. But it will tell you the information on your bar. Right there. See? Something like that. Anyways. Yeah. Look how much they charged me for it. $3,590.58. Jordy Johnson. Jesus. I don't even want this thing. Get rid of that crap. Okay, she's all ready to go. I haven't fired her up yet. obviously doing something wrong
Okay, so do, do not ask me what kind of owl this is because I'll say it's a barn carving fusion owl. I just wanted to see what that, um, this is just gonna be my detail saw. It's not gonna be my carving saw. I just wanted to see what it could do. And that's, I haven't even gone through a full tank of gas yet for a small saw like that. So anyways, it's just a quick little owl thing I'm doing. I really don't care what it turns out to be. Well, I want it to look okay. So now I got my die grinder and uh, I'll do some stuff with this and finish it off. Okay, so you guys can see I said I'm gonna ha add an addition. So I did a funny little looking owl. I totally screwed up his head and I thought this white paint was clear so I started spraying it but it went on white so I'm like, oh, it's a barn owl. It's I've got a friggin' white face. Totally screwed up the eyes. So I'm gonna call Judy in and let's see what she says. She doesn't know that I fucked up this owl. She might even say, well, what is it? I don't know. So let's just see. But I bet you she's going to say she loves it. You, I bet you. And Scott, too, will probably say they love it. Because they don't know I fucked it up. Anyways. Hold on. Let's call them over. If they're there. Hey, Scott, Jude! Jude! Scott! You have to close the tent behind you because this light gets in here. So come on in. I'm filming on YouTube right now anyway, so. Hey guys. Yeah. They got the day off. All so right. here. So there it is. Oh shit. No. Yeah. That's insane, dude. What do you think? Oh my god. But like, tell me the truth. Uh, yes, because it's got an owl. It's an owl, yeah. No, I love it, love it, love it, love it. That's I'm insane. so excited! Do you like the white face? Thanks, I love brother. it. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. Okay, perfect. I have tears in my eyes. That's a cool yeah. surprise. Yeah, because I didn't know what to do with the top. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to do with the top, so I think a little bit of light will come out here and shine on that. Yeah. It's a barn and owl, it's right? It looks so cool with all the light coming out. Yeah. I'm excited. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I charge uh, about a thousand dollars for those owls. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. So yeah, okay. So uh, now we got to figure out what the base. So I'm glad you like the carving fusion barn owl. And, awesome. Um, yep. Thank okay. you. See you guys later. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Alrighty then. So Judy and Scott had this piece. This is an old piece of wood. It's like an old log boom thing. So they wanted to light on that. So now I'm going to screw this to that. I already drilled a hole with a spade bit. Right through it, you guys can see the cord coming through. So there's a light in there. I know Steve Kanzori told me he used uh, uh, what's freaking whatever a floodlight, but we just got an LED down there, so it comes out back here. So she'll just get a timer, outdoor timer for the light to go on and off. I'll screw this down. It's gonna have to come off in case the bulb dies, but those LEDs last forever. I'll temp screw it, and I'll screw the owl on, and then I'll wheel it out to where it's going to go. Oh yeah, I screwed the uh, hole for the for the socket to get through with this spade bit. Okay. Uh. Okay. So it's all together. It's all screwed together. It's able to come apart. Ah. Uh. Let's plug it in and see if we can kind of see some light through here. I don't know if we'll be able to. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can see lights in there, all right. It's not even dark yet. I wonder if you're going to be able to see the light up on the owl. I wonder if I should carve some of this away. Oh, yeah, you know, you can see the light up there. You sure can. <laughs> what? You see the light. <laughs> oh, so fun. So fun. Okay, so I'm pretty well done for the day. I gotta get this stuff, these owls out of here, the mushrooms out of here. Um, I don't know what I'll do with these yet. Maybe I'll try and make a cool chair or something. Just something simple. I could make a chair. Let's go see where they put the uh, thing. The owl light, Steve Kanzori, 
Can I do this thing? <laughs> Just joking. All the cows in here now. That's okay. I'm a good guy. Don't bite me. Yep. Anyways, this is where they put it. So the light is on already. So they'll get a timer hide all this extension cord and um, so you can see late on they're gonna send me a video when it gets dark what do you think Jude I love it so uh, wicked yeah. okay so that's it guys you can't see it now but they're gonna send me a video later with the light on at night time okay so it's a uh, wrap-up time and I'm taking a few days off carving hope you're all good and uh, just enjoying the day Okay guys, so those lights are super easy to make. Anybody can make them and I'd love to see if you guys made some. So would Steve Kanzora. So thanks for the idea, Steve. So you guys just want to talk about this saw for a quick minute. It's the Echo 2511X. Man, I love it. It's so light. If anybody wants to get into chainsaw carving, I suggest you get yourself one of these little saws because it's so light. It's still, anyways, it's all hard work. Chainsaw carving is hard work. If you think it's not hard work, you're freaking crazy. That's why I'm never gonna enter any competitions because chainsaw competitions, because it's you gotta work your ass off for like three or four days, 12 hours a day. No thank you. I'm better here just carving little owls and mushrooms and wood spirits and stuff, yeah? And little fat, stupid little dragons. So, but you know, this is just a real awesome saw. It sure is. I can't wait to get a little carving bar on it. Okay, so that's it. I already said bye, but I'll say bye once more. Hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you're all great, okay? So, happy Saturday, because this video will be out Saturday morning. See you later. Oh my god, we're lost in the forest. Where's the light? I don't know. Oh my god, there's a light. light. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that light. Look at the who? light. Who? 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 Oh my, look at, look at the owl. Oh my god. Who, who made who? this? Who could have made this? Who? 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 What's his name? Who made this? Judy? Who Judy? Jordy? Jordy Johnson? Jordy Johnson. Harvey Fusion? Harvey Fusion? Harvey Fusion? Oh my God. Oh, it's so beautiful. Harvey Fusion. Oh.